Today we're going to talk a little bit about scheduling modes and Project for the Web. Looking here, you notice that there are three different scheduling mode types, fixed duration, fixed effort, and fixed units. Uh, duration is basically the number of days, uh, the duration, the time span in which it takes to complete a task. Effort is the work, the amount of hours required to work on the task or complete the task. And units is, is the number of resources or the amount of hours the resource will work per day. These three items work in tandem together. And if you notice this equation right here, effort, the work, equals the duration, the time span of the task, times the number of units. And again, that can be one resource, two resources, or the specified number of days they can work. Where do we change that scheduling mode? It's actually in the Power uh, Project Power App portal. You can also, when you make this change, or even if you don't change it, you just want to go in there and, and make a change to allow PMs to override. Um, yeah, that's a good setting to have because that way you can let your project manager specify whatever mode they're comfortable using. And when the PM does want to override that default setting, they can only do it prior to saving the project. Some very important to note because once it's specified, that's it. There's no changing it. Okay, so notice we're in our Power Apps portal here. You go to make.powerapps.com to get there. I'm going to switch to the environment I want to use in this case, which is my project for the Web 102. Go ahead and click on apps in the left navigation, then go ahead and click on the app I want to use to launch. And that will bring up my project power app environment. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to switch in the change area to settings. And then when I do, it brings me to the active project parameters. What I want to do here is select the radio button in front of that parameter. Don't click on it, but to select the radio button, then click edit. And then you're brought to the general tab of the parameter section. And if you notice the schedule mode default currently selected is fixed duration. And it is selected to allow the project managers to override that setting if they wish to, right? If I want to change it, I'm going to select a different mode, just like that. Click save and close. All right, I'm going to leave uh, duration because you know it tends to be the easier of the modes to use, more predictable. So we'll leave fixed duration in this case. Let's go back to the projects, and then we're going to click on my project section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into create a new project, and I'm going to call this duration. Right, duration fixed, and. Um, we look there's fixed duration right there okay so that's good that's what we want in this case i'm going to save the project and then i'm going to go ahead once this save is complete go to my tasks section here and i'll add a couple of resources by clicking on group members typing in a little bit of the first name here we'll add david and then we'll add dan shackleford click create and we'll see that group member number go to Three, um, the reason it has one is because me, the person creating it, is going to be added by default. Create task 100. Here, yeah, remember we said it's fixed duration. So, like I said before, typically we like to estimate whatever it is that we fixed. Okay. Put that in. Now, I want the date. Make the start date be on October 2nd. Fixed duration. Going to make it a 10 day duration. Okay. Uh, once I assign a resource, that's when the duration, uh, excuse me, the, once I assign a resource, we'll go ahead and see the effort be calculated here, okay, 80 hours, right? If I were to change the 80 to 40, like so, we should see that duration. Um, if I were to change that 80 to 40, Notice the duration stays the same, and that's because we specified fixed duration. What is it that changed then? Well, this person's going to be doing 40 hours over 10 days. Well, how do we know that for sure? Well, if we go to the assignments tab, here's task 100, Mr. Shackleford, four hours a day. Okay, or that time frame, right? Let's go back to the grid. Let's change this to 80 hours, where it was. Still 10 days. Now let's look at the assignments timeline. And look, it bumped it up to eight hours a day. And again, that's because we specified that the duration is fixed. It remains unchanged when we go ahead and specify or change the effort here. Okay. So very important to note that. So it's, again, again, it's going to be predictable. If we wanted to change this to five days, okay, it still has change it down to, um, we change this to five days. It's going to change this to 40 hours. The effort's going to follow in this particular case. 
But again, if we change this to 20, we'll see the duration stay the same and we should see it go down to half time, right? Simple example of fixed duration. Now, if we were to say, um, let's go ahead in this case and create effort. And we'll go ahead and specify effort here. And we'll make that our effort project. Go ahead and save. Go to the tasks here. We'll add a couple of group members. And we'll add Mr. Shaka for a click create. We'll put task one. And we'll do the same thing I did before. Put on some fields here that are meaningful to whatever testing is I'm doing at this particular point. Okay, so now we say we're in an effort project. The effort is fixed. So what does that mean? Well, I typically I want to effort enter the effort, estimate that. Put in 80 hours, a start date of two. So since the effort is fixed, I'm going to go ahead and sign a resource here. What's going to change here if the effort is fixed? Well, can't do all the work on one day. So I would say that the duration is going to change. And sure enough, you see that the duration went to 10 days. And if we look at the assignments, this is just assuming the person's working full time over the course of the 10 days, right? And again, that's because we fixed the effort in this case, right? If we went ahead and added another resource, what's going to happen? Well, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Effort stays the same duration goes down to five, right? It's finished in half the time. That's because two resources can complete the same amount of work in half the time. Task 100, Dan, David, right? Eight hours across the board for each one of them, okay? Pretty simple stuff here in this particular case, right? Interesting. Now, if I change this to 160, okay, it is going to increase the duration because it's going to take these resources twice the amount of time to complete that 160 hours. So that again, is going to be okay, those two resources working full time over the course of two weeks to complete that, right? That's a real quick demonstration of changing the schedule mode, leaving the override parameter to yes, and then looking at a couple of different types of projects, fixed effort or fixed duration, how they work. Uh, look for a subsequent video that talks more about the calendars that can be associated with resources and how that comes into play with regard to assigning resources. Thanks so much for viewing, folks. Have a wonderful day.